and I got detained and then put in the foster home and had my mugshot and fingerprints taken. Road closed as a 13 year old into somebody's random house because like, they didn't want like a police report. <laughs> So y'all already know me, right? Y'all know me as the impulsive person that just somehow goes to Bali every two weeks. Well, that hasn't happened in a minute, right? But the farthest I can get away in this country while staying in America because, you know, legal things, I just can't leave this country, okay? Is New York. And I'm sure y'all have seen me go to New York so many times already. Y'all are probably sick of my shit. But you know what? Until I can go to Bali, we're gonna go to New York. So I always like talk about being impulsive and stuff, but I don't know if y'all have like ever saw it like in action. I mean, no, you guys have, but y'all haven't really like seen it in action. So today I'm gonna show you what happens when I book a flight like an hour before the packing process and me heading to the airport and me always being late. I don't know how this always happens, but I'm always late to the airport. Actually, I do know how it happens. I'm literally late to like everything that I do and it's not something that I'm proud of, but- So for reference, time is currently 8.35. My flight is at 10.45. I still have to drop my dog off at his babysitters because it was like $200 to check him in the flight. I was like, um, Excuse me, my flight was less than that. Why? Because I have travel hacks and I hack the system. If y'all want tips on that, maybe one day I'll expose it. Y'all thought that I was traveling around at 14 years old, solo backpacking without travel hacks? This girl never had a job. She had to somehow find a way to travel across the world with no money. So it's winter. I don't know why the f put on a crop top with some pants that show half my ass, but easy access. Also, I still have it. So that's definitely an issue, but I thought as long as we have a good outfit, nothing else matters. But also, why would I need a pack? I'm literally not even there for a day. Is this not a cute outfit? Like, come on now, we're in New York. What am I doing in New York? You may be asking, why? Like, why are you so in a rush to go to New York? No reason. I just thought, you know, I've been very good. I haven't been that impulsive lately. I haven't made any big, big, big purchases. I've been good. Ew, why do my legs look so long? Like, this is not a lot. Go like this. But then now I look like a brute. We can't win. We really can't win. Wow, I thought this output would hit and it really doesn't. What do I do? What the f do I always have to have my tummy showing? Like, come on, Ma, get it together. I changed the shirt. This is the fit. I honestly don't give a flying fuck. I mean, I do, but I can't. I can't care. Anyways, we need to pack some makeup. I just don't want to be in New York looking crusty because that means I'm gonna have a shitty day. If I don't think I look good, then I definitely do not feel good. See, now, first of all, I'm gonna be late. Second of all, I don't know. I haven't looked at the time. As long as I don't look at the time, then then how could anything go wrong? This is why I'm always stressed after I come back because I make a mess before I leave. Now, this could probably all be solved with some like good time management, but those skills I do not have. You know what? I probably forgot something, but I don't even have time to worry about We that. got our makeup. Now, typically, I literally just bring a tiny purse because I don't need anything, but it's Vlogmas. So I have to bring a whole bag because I have to bring my entire laptop because I have to edit. Oh, no. I need a plastic bag for some of this shit. 8.49? Oh. Oh, wait. I thought I was joking when I said I was going to be late. Miss Girl is actually going to be late. <gasps> period. Not period. Plastic bag. Oh my god, I literally went to pole dancing class because I prioritized that over being ready. Somehow I always make it work and we will make it work. With this mentality, you can achieve anything. As my room is a literal mess. We try to get these aesthetic shots really are not helping me, hey? I have this fat 16 inch laptop that is a pain in my ass to lug around. This shit is so heavy. It's my job. See, this is why I don't really travel with people is because I stress everybody out. Like, you can ask anyone that's ever traveled with me. I am fun to travel with, but it's like, you really gotta put full trust in me if you wanna travel with me because when I say that we're not gonna be late, you just gotta trust me, you know? Instead of being like, oh my God, like, are you sure? Like, I'm just really stressed. Like, are we gonna make it on time? Yes, we will. It's just like, your cortisol levels might be going up during our whole travel, but as long as we make it there, then we make it there, right? Yeah, I wouldn't wanna travel with me either. Perfume. Can't forget the passport. And there she goes. Oh, I have a dog. I have a dog. Food. Toy. Water. Y'all are probably so stressed out watching this right now. Because like, oh my god. Ooh. We'll deal with the messiness of my house later. Y'all see what I mean? I made a freaking mess. But, Shit. Mini journal. Important. Got some crystals. 
You know, the biggest pain about this bag is it doesn't stay on the shoulder. I bought this bag like when I was like 14 because I thought it was some bougie bitch. Like, are you kidding me? I always spent my whole yearly paycheck on this bag. Okay, are you ready? Time is 8.57. Flight is at 10.40. Oh, I can't see. I'm recording because of my fall. At least I have it on video. Get in. I genuinely do not know why I do this to myself every time because what happens is the result of every cleaning my room video is because I traveled and I made a mess before I traveled, right? And it's just a constant cycle. Like every time I do a cleaning my house video, I always say, all right, my house is messy because I traveled. And here's a prime example why. But I just think that this means we're gonna have a very juicy, nice cleaning my house video, even though y'all are probably sick of it. But we started the vlogmas off with a cleaning my house video. We're gonna end vlogmas off with a cleaning my house video, okay? Anyways, I'm really hungry. I want McDonald's right now. So I might get McDonald's if time permits, but 10.44, what time does my flight board? Probably should check that. Probably should check where I'm going. This is actually what the f it's like to travel impulsively. Like, I think people think it's like all sunshine and rainbows, and it's just like, ah, like we're living a fun life. Like, ah, like I'm so like hashtag. Im Can y'all even see me? Ah, like I'm so like hashtag impulsive. Like, oh my god, like travel. But if you can't handle it, then it is actually the worst time of your life because. All you are is stressed, but at this point, it's not even stressed to me anymore because I genuinely have convinced myself that I will never be late and that I will make every single flight. So there's never like me going, oh my God, what if I don't make my flight? Never. That's not even in my vocabulary. I am always making my flight. So I think that's why I'm never stressed is because I genuinely, truly believe that I will never miss my flight. But you know, that's a very um, cocky mentality to have. <laughs> so... Boarding closes at 10.29. Hi. Here you go. Just half of a scoop in the morning and half at night. Half, half of it. Half. Yeah, okay. And, and he ate today? Yeah, he already ate. Okay. Yeah, cool. I think so. Yeah, All yeah. Right. All right, thank you. <laughs> Time is currently 9.18. I still have to go to the airport, so. I'm so hungry. I cannot function if I don't eat. Like, I'm a hangry bitch. Oh, the police. Just kidding, that's for the intro. A lot of people have asked me how I've traveled alone, and I've answered this in a couple of videos before. Honestly, I just started off by doing it when I was really, 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 really young. And I started off by doing bus trips, and I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, my, how did your parents let you? Um, see, the thing is, they didn't. I just was really rebellious as a kid, and that's what made me independent now, because I was a rebellious bad kid. I wasn't bad, but it's like- See, I wasn't bad because I never got caught. My mom's watching this right now, hi. I would like tell them I was going to a volleyball tournament and I would instead get my friend's mom to pick me up. She would drive me to the Greyhound bus station and I, oh my God, what I'm about to say is so illegal, but like, can they catch me now? So you weren't allowed to get on a bus unless you were, I think 13 years old or something like that or 14 and I wasn't that So age. I took a picture of my passport, photoshopped my passport, printed that piece of paper out and I used it as my ID to get on the bus. Now, y'all didn't hear that from me, okay? So then I would like do little trips, overnight trips and I would literally curl up in a ball on a bus next to so many other people going God knows where. Like I had some interesting conversations with people on the bus all the time and keep in mind, this bus ride was like six, seven hours long because I would go to another city. And it's not just like a direct bus. You would have to take a bus and then get off. Why am I fucking screaming? You'd have to take a bus and then you'd have to get off at a bus station, wait for like an hour or two, and then get on another bus. And during that hour or two wait, there's a lot of people crammed in a bus station just waiting. Like, you know, with the vending machines, with like the phone call, um, boxes and stuff like that like that was the life that I was living and I loved it I wouldn't trade it for the world you know I would have ever gone back and changed anything I'm so glad that I lived that life because it's like giving me so many experiences and like it's the reason why I travel so safely is because I had to learn that at a very young age you know people ask you like where are you headed like this is a conversation that you have with almost everybody that you sit on the bus with and like it's not like an airplane where like you have like a decent amount of room no like a bus is a bus like you are with somebody on a bus. When you sit down next to somebody, 
most likely you're gonna have a conversation with them and people ask you like how old are you where are you headed like what are you doing and you know sometimes I would lie most of the time I wouldn't probably not the safest thing so I'd be like yeah I'm 13 really where are you going I'm going to Calgary why I don't know I just like wanted to have fun it'd be like a fucking school night or something I don't know. I don't know what the point of that story was, but it was just a story to tell y'all. Greyhound buses were what, like 30, 20 bucks, okay? Then I would either stay in hostels or like rent Airbnbs. And keep in mind, I would spend my whole freaking paycheck on this. Paycheck from YouTube. And I wasn't making bank on YouTube when I was 13, 14. Like, I was making pennies, but I would save up, okay? Eventually, it resulted to flights. Now, flights are about $300, $400. And I really had to save for those. I was a money haggler when I was younger because I didn't have money to spend and if I wanted to do these experiences it meant that I had to spend my money properly and budget and like I know you guys made me may see me like live these lavish ass life now like impulsively take these trips and like stay in nice places but like y'all I wasn't always living this life like, I had to do the bare minimum at one point in my life too and I would like hack the system and get really 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 cheap flights just basically know this one website that can get you the cheapest flight possible and it saves me hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars so maybe I'll share that with y'all one day but and then also I would stay in like Airbnb private rooms now you're probably like what the fuck is an Airbnb private room an Airbnb private room is like you are staying in somebody's house like I would go as a 13 year old into somebody's random fucking house and just stay in a room. Or I would go into a hostel and just stay in a room with multiple beds with random people. Now a lot of you may be like, my, how the fuck did you do this at this age? A lot of lying and a lot of like presenting myself as older. Cause like I've had so many hostels, every single hostel I go to go, yeah, sorry, we can't let you stay. Like you're too young. And then you know what I would say? Oh, well, I'm just like backpacking alone right now and I don't have anywhere else to stay like I'm so sorry And then I would book like the unisex rooms because they're cheaper and then they would be like, okay, well uh, uh, And like what are you supposed to do like leave a 13 year old hanging right? No They would eventually like let me stay and then they would like upgrade me to the females only suite. because like, they didn't want like a police report It's just it's a lot and I don't know how I handled this at a young age like I just have blocked this out of my mind and it's made me the person that I am today though but just know that I have gone through a lot of shit to be the person that I am today so don't be comparing yourself to me being like oh my god I wish I was so independent like I'm your age I'm older and I like haven't gotten there yet or it took me this long to get to the point where I am now yeah well you probably had a proper childhood with like parents that like knew where you were you know and like this is no shade to my parents at all I was really sneaky and like just use the internet very well like all this information that I found was on reddit like I would search up everything on reddit like reddit was my best friend and it's because what I love about reddit is it's like real people talking to you and telling you advice and this is just going on a tangent now but yeah I would like search up like how to navigate through airports on the internet I would search up how to transfer airports how to get around the city and y'all I don't think y'all understand I was broke and I still made it happen like I was taking no ubers and if I did they were uber carpools like I would get in an uber with multiple people but that's like the luxurious life most of the time I would go to a gas station get bus tickets okay and I would transit around the city I transited around LA on a bus I transited around Toronto on the bus systems Calgary I used the bus systems like I used the transit all over the world because ubers were too expensive and yeah it took me 10 years to get there yeah it was a lot more unsafe yeah I had to go figure out how to use the transit system in every city but I literally would not trade that for the world because you know how much more it makes me appreciate like the life that I live now because if I just had money all my life and I never had to experience what I experienced at a young age I would not be able to appreciate the things that I do now to the amount that I do. And the reason why I thank y'all so much for the life that I live is because I know what it's like to not have money. And I know what it's like to save up money to be able to live experiences because that's what I had to do. I didn't have any financial help from my parents. Obviously, there'd be the birthday gift and the Christmas gift maybe, but they didn't know what I was up to. So everything that I did as a kid was all from me grinding my ass to make money save money budget do research and figure it because out because if i was traveling and i went broke then like i went broke 
you know like i didn't have anyone to call because my parents didn't know where the fuck i was one time i was in london and i was 16 years old and i got detained and then put in a foster home and had my mugshot and fingerprints taken story time y'all remember that I hit 600k during that time it was so crazy anyways we're at the airport now time is currently 9 38 i need to go find parking and everything still oh my god i've literally been sitting in this one spot for like 10 minutes now i'm at the airport i'm literally 100 meters away from my destination and i'm like so do i just park here and then run to no i think we're moving we're moving a little bit but like no like people are getting out of the cars because like this bitch wasn't moving like we're at the airport there's just traffic at the airport. Time is currently 9.43. Flight boards in 15 minutes. And I am not in the airport. We are at the airport though. This says road closed. No, okay, this is, no, 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 no. I actually might not make my flight because where the f am I supposed to park? Where am I supposed to park? Where am I supposed to park? Where am I supposed to park? Are you kidding me? Where am I supposed to park? I should have just parked back there and just ran through the traffic because this is idiotic. Ah! There's not really a way for me to make this flight because I can't park. Like I'm, I'm, I'm currently driving past my terminal, you know? That's the issue. I'm okay. Even though my flight boards in five minutes, I'm okay. I am okay. I'm okay. We have to try. We can't give up now. We made it to the airport. We really cannot just give up. Okay, if I go back this way, where will I head? Definitely almost just hit a car. <gasps> like there's somebody in front of me. Okay. Doors close at door 1029. It's like somehow every single time I do this, I progressively get later and later and later. Like I've never been so late that I get to the airport as soon as my flight is boarding. Like I've never been that late before, but it's like the fact that that's not even how late I am. Like I'm not even in the airport yet and my flight is about to board. If I'm, I will, I will make this. I will make this, I will make this. And I will make this, I will make this. <sighs> okay, I need to like stop stressing out and like get my vibrations up. So we're listening to Taylor Swift. <laughs> Period, flight is officially boarding. You were in college working part time, waiting tables. I'm in the airport. Time is currently 10:08. My flight is boarding. It was boarding, and I still haven't even gotten through security. Is this some other issue? Probably, but high hopes. I played some Taylor Swift, and you know I'm really bummed though because I don't have my glasses, so I'm not gonna be able to like see properly. But we'll figure that out later. Oh my God. The lady saw me in a rush, and I told her that my flight was boarding, and then she just let me through. She just let me see fun. High hopes. So what you gotta do, have a positive attitude. Uh, she was like, what time are you boarding? And I was like, my flight closes boarding at 1029. She's like right behind me. And I was like, oh my God, thank the Lord. Mitch, I love you. I blasted Taylor Swift so that my vibrations would be high. If you think that you're not gonna make it, you are not gonna make it. And I truly believe that. We got it, we got it. I know we got it. I know, I know we got it. I don't got time to button up my pants. This girl is in heels too. Probably should be running, but I'm in heels, so. It's like parkour in here. They want me to walk up and down. This girl is pursuing as fast as she can. All this food that I can't have. You know what group they're boarding right now? I think it's D. D, okay, cool, thank you. I can go get food, y'all. They're at D, my letter is F. I'm oh, Shane, I've been happier. This is what I mean when I say you just gotta always have high hopes. Now imagine if you were traveling with me, you'd probably be shitting your f***ing pants, right? But it's always an adventure and a story to tell. Yeah, thank you. No, it's okay. Thanks. Thank you. You as well. I secured my burrito with three minutes left until the boarding closes. I am literally screaming right now. Like if you could see my face, I'm smiling with my f***ing cheeks, teeth, everything. I got my burrito! <laughs> oh my god, I just made it. Hi. 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 Thank cool. you. Thank day. you. I got burrito in hand, hopping on the flight. Oh my god. I wasn't supposed to make my flight, but I just told myself I would. And every time I got stressed out, I was like, what the f are you doing? I stopped getting stressed out. I played my Taylor Swift to raise my vibration so that my manifestation can become true. Where the f are we? On the flight. We did it, we did it, we did it. Yeah, yeah, we did it. 
Holy shit. I'm sweating balls right now. I don't know if you can see, but my nose is actually wet. Probably should take off this winter jacket. What are the benefits of being short? Because I have a bag under here right now and I can still fully extend to my legs. But also if I have the option, I only fly JetBlue because they have the most leg room by like four inches compared to any other airline, period. Fly JetBlue, I'm telling you. The best experience. A burrito holder. Kelly on the plane, but it's only three more days until I pick a winner for the iPhone 13 giveaway. If you don't know, I'm giving away three iPhone 13s. And all you have to do to enter is just be subscribed to the channel that you're watching right now. Follow my Instagram at MyBabby and then just be active. I'm picking the winner on Instagram on December 25th. But yeah, I just want to give back to my subscribers for this Christmas season. And there's only three days left to enter. So if you want an extra entry, just text my phone number. But I literally just edited this on the plane ride to New York. So as you're watching this, four hours ago, the, you, this clip was taken, by the way. East and the west, I'm racking up on my breath. Uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla. Too much treat, the smoke is making my chest hurt. Girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her. Hey, I'm thinking I should arrest all night.